okay. Don't really, don't really have a mirror. I gotta try to use the lens of the camera there. Um, well, welcome to the Hair by Carver YouTube uh, tutorial page. I mean, we're gonna do more than tutorials here, but you know, we'll start with that and see how it goes. Um, I hope you guys like my little backdrop hiding my apartment here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I put together a couple of videos for you guys, just trying to help everybody out. You know, I get a lot of requests from my clients. How do I do this? How do I do that? You know, maintenance, what should I be using for products? All this stuff. And eventually, as this YouTube channel expands, we'll go into all that stuff for you guys. So today's tutorial was my number one thing. I decided to start with the top of my list and then we'll expand from there. Because the number one thing that people ask me about is how to curl your hair with a flat iron. You know? And all the girls right now are probably going, oh, yes! So yeah, my first tutorial will be on that. And uh, I hope you guys like it. Here it is. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're gonna be uh, working on Cassandra here, who's been so kind as to volunteer her time to me. Uh, so what we're gonna teach you guys today is we're gonna work on things like um, different types of curling with a flat iron because like the number one thing that my clients ask me to show them when I'm styling their hair is how to curl with a flat iron. You know, they're sitting there, they're watching me and they're just so amazed and they're like, I can never do that at home. So today, I'm gonna show you how to do it from my end and then Cassandra here is gonna show you how to, how to curl like you know, doing it yourself. If you want to say hi, Cassandra, you can. <laughs> All right, so we'll get started in the back. And uh, I'm going to show you a few different techniques. Now, you guys, sectioning is so, so important when you're doing this. You know, just uh, don't make life too hard for yourself. Like, you can just pull half the hair out of the way. A lot of people use clips. Today, I'm going to use chopsticks, which is a little strange for some people. But, uh, you know, that's all right. Let's just make sure we got a clean section there. And uh, yeah, we'll get started. So if you guys are like, you know, you, you're worried about it not holding properly or, you know, your friend or whoever you're doing it on doesn't have like the best hair for curling, you can give it a light spray with uh, just a light hairspray. Now, one thing that's really important, you always want to make sure that your flat iron has rounded edges, right? because there's no sense in trying to make a round thing with a square. So today we're gonna to be using two different sizes. We've got, you know, the one inch and then I've also got a one and a half inch. These are both Cloud9 flat irons. So you guys can see the size difference there, okay? Um, they do obviously make different dot size curl patterns. First thing I'll show you guys is, uh, if you wanna just set your head forward for me, do it. Thank you. Just how to do like the classic sort of, uh, you know, curl with the flat iron. So. Grab your section, you don't want to be too wide or too thick because, you know, the last thing you need is to have these gigantic sections and then the heat's not actually penetrating properly. Because what you got to kind of remember is uh, that uh, the heat has to be able to get all the way through in order to form the curl. Now, I put this on high heat for Cassandra's hair. Everybody's hair is going to be different if you've got fine hair or, you know, really, really blonde hair, like, you know, that stuff that can burn easily. Put it at a lower setting, it's fine. You're still gonna get the curl, right? So I like to kind of over direct my hand just a little bit, get the hair in there, and then just do a full twist. Now, if you've ever like, you know, wrapped a present and you've decided that, you know, I need some nice ribbon, some nice curly ribbon. You've run the scissors along the ribbon there. It's sort of the same idea. Wherever you apply the heat when you're turning is where you're gonna get a curl. All right, see, so now we've got a nice basic curl. Now there's a few different things you guys can do here. Another one that I like, it's really popular. Um, people want something a little bit more beachy or like a little bit of a looser wave. You go in from above and you turn to the side and you just work your way out. And I find that this gives a nice natural sort of uh, natural curl. You know, and you always want to twist it in the way that you've curled it because then that way the, the hair is going to set that way. Because you can do this with, you know, if you want to get a really, really tight curl pattern, another thing that I do, and especially if I'm doing updos or bridal or anything like that and I'm using my flat iron, just do your regular curl, nice and tight. Most of the time I like to go over it twice. You're not spending too much time in one spot on the hair, so the hair will be fine. But you just grab the curl there, 
just roll it up towards the, the nape or the head, wherever you are in there, and you just clip it. Now you would obviously use much smaller clips, like pin curl clips. I just want to give you guys the idea. You can also use bobby pins if you don't have access to curl clips, okay? So the thing with, with heating up hair and putting it in place is that, you know, um, it's not about, it's not about where you, oh, sorry. <laughs> Just throwing her around, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not about where you heat the hair so much as it is like where you set the hair and let it cool. Because heating it up is gonna get it in shape, but cooling it down is gonna keep it there, okay? Now, if you guys want, you can always, as you go, spray a little bit of hairspray on there, just for some extra hold. Um, the other thing I'm gonna show you, again, using a bigger flat iron, make sure you still got the rounded edges here. Tilt your head for it for me, dude. Thank you. We're just gonna let that curl down. It's nice and set there, but you can see that it's got a little bit more bounce, stronger curl formation than just letting it fall like the one over here, okay? So, the one with the bigger one. This is gonna give you, it's got farther to go around the flat iron, so it's gonna give you a bigger curl, right? So this is great for like going out. If you've got a bigger flat iron, you can get a better kind of curl. My girls with long, thick hair, I tend to to use one of these and they, they love it. It's big, it's bouncy, it's beautiful. You know, all the things that girls love in their hair. So yeah, this is really great for like when you're, you know, just trying to get ready fast and you just want to curl a few pieces, you, you blow dried your hair, you add a little bit of curl. So again, it is a big, looser curl. What a lot of people like to do too, let's just take the next section here, is, uh, they like it if you curl it one way and then you alternate it the other way. And that way the curls don't form together. So it depends what you want. If you want waves, like if you want that beautiful, like you know, the very Kim Kardashian kind of wave there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna curl it all the normal way, the, the regular way, and just set them all or whatever you're gonna do, and then brush them all together. You're gonna get that beautiful wave. Now, if you want something a little bit more natural looking, you know, you're gonna set the first row the regular way and the second row you're gonna curl out the other way. Again, this is the big flat iron, so you know you're gonna get a bigger, bigger curl here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the rest of the hair in the back here. Another thing that I hear a lot of people saying when they're saying they, you know, they're curling their hair and they're, or they've tried to curl their hair, you know, it's all about the smooth movement. Like once you get that kind of down, it does take some practice. So like, don't give up. I mean, I don't know from firsthand experience because I don't exactly have long hair. Just like anything else, you gotta, you gotta keep at it to make sure that you, uh, make sure you get there. But once you get it, I'm sure it's quite easy.